So, everyone's asked me how to do an outline set with a syringe in line set now. So I've set something up, and I hope this makes sense to everyone. And if not, we'll just repeat it. Um, so, clean cloth onto either port. So it's either port that's got a little red dot and your little arrow for on and off. Okay. Um, Alma, let me know if this is not going well. Um, give your port a weak clean. Attach your ABG syringe. It needs a good push because it usually pops back out again. So if you give it a good stiff push in. So this is our patient just for no patients are harmed in the use. So you turn the port that's at your syringe where it says off. You turn that up so that your transducer is turned off. You'll lose your art line trace at this point. You aspirate and pull 10 mils back and you can see the blood coming back through the set into the syringe. You aspirate for 10 mils. Once you've reached your 10 mils, you go back to where your ABG syringe is and you twist your little nozzle off towards the syringe so I don't know if you guys can see that yeah just so you can see it's off towards the syringe so you're not going to aspirate any of the 10 mils back because that is the blood that you would discard usually you aspirate down to your 2 mil line or however much you feel like you need you can disconnect that's absolutely fine to do so pop that on make sure it's pushed the whole way up so your little things covered there, that's for the ABG syringe when that's been trans, not transduced, used. So then you just turn that little port back up again so you can see it's all in line. That's going to flush a little bit out here because sometimes it can clot off there and then you can't aspirate. And then you just flush back. So you just push your 10 mils back through the art line set back towards your patient so they're not losing any blood they're not if they've got a low HB already you're not losing anything now this is the bit which can confuse a lot of people easily you twist right around again so you want to get rid of this little bit of usual blood or air in the syringe you pull your little blue transducer you pull that back you twist that round round to the patient again so this is going to return back round to the patient if you've got an overloaded patient you don't really want to send back 10 mils each time so two mils each time is absolutely fine now if you can see there's air in the set just there I'm going to aspirate that out through this little port again just so it doesn't go back to the patient and just so that we keep our trace half decent you, know, you just pop that back on twist again like the opposite way so it doesn't go to the patient so you're not taking from here this time you're preventing it from going back this way you push so you see it goes into the syringe and you lose your bubbles you can turn that back up disconnect and then you just do this a few times just until you get a nice clear line way back to the patient and once this little port here is clear of bubbles and blood twist it off so that the syringe is capped off you're not going to aspirate any blood and you just keep pulling your little blue thing until your line is completely clear I hope that makes sense guys thanks <laughs>